and welcome back to my channel Arabic with me, Rana. Welcome to my new series of Fairuz songs. I know you all love that. We are going to have a song each video, translate it, study it, search for the metaphors in it and break down each sentence in it. Today's song is called Bwab. Bwab, which means doors. Fairuz made a song about doors, as doors are the witness, the witnesses of all of these emotions. And each door witnessed a different story. The literal translation with all the metaphors and how to break these down, we are going to have it in this video. So without any further ado, let's Get started! Bweb is the title of this song. Bweb. Bweb is the plural form of the word bab. Bab is just one and bweb is the plural. Now let's get started with the first sentence of this song. على باب ننطر تنودع الأحباب This is as the whole sentence. Now I will break it down. على باب على باب على باب When you say على باب it means on the door. And this is literally what we say in Arabic. We say on the door. On a door or any door. So on a door ننطر ننطر means we wait. نحنا then we have the second section of the sentence. It tells you Ta, this ta equals la and equals hatta, which means in order to or just to. Nwadda is we say goodbye. We say goodbye. Always remember after ta, la, or hatta. We don't use the first letter in the conjugation, which is either the B or the M. Here it's the M. Usually we say نحنا من ودع, But in this case, we say تن ودع. There is no M anymore. We omit it. تن ودع الأحباب الأحباب حبيب is just one beloved one. One person. Ahbab is the beloved ones, so it's the plural form of the word Habib. So the meaning is on a door, any door, we wait there on that door to say our goodbyes to our beloved ones. The second sentence of this song says, first all of it, Let's break it down now. نغمر. نحنا نغمر. نحنا نغمر means we hug. نغمر هون. We hug them. We have we hug those beloved ones that we just spoke about. نغمر هون. وبتولع. The word ولع. ولع. It's just to be lit. To be on fire. And the word walla, walla, it means to set something on fire or to lit something. So in this case, ptula, and then we have idaina, our hands. Idaina, id, it's just one. Idaina, it's two. Idaina. Bil azab. Azab here, literally, if you want it to use it and pronounce it literally in Arabic, it's azab with, with a th, th sound, azab, but we don't really say it in Levantine, we say azab. And azab means torture, but also here means pain. So, the whole sentence means we hug them, we hug our beloved ones. While hugging a person, your hands... Hands. So you are hugging them with your hands. Feel the pain as you don't want to let go. Am I right? So you touch them. You really, really get this strong hold on that person and you don't want to 
let go, am I right? So you feel that your hands, your hands are on torture, are on pain, are on fire. So you lit them. It's lit. It's lit with what? It's on fire of what? The fire is actually the pain that we are having inside of our souls, the emotional pain. We don't want to let them go. Next one says, Bweb, bweb. She gurub. She's hob. Bweb is again the plural of bab. Gurub is the plural of gharib. And gharib is stranger or strange. So you know now that it is the plural of stranger. Gurub. And then sahab. You already know the word ashab, which means friends. We can also say it as sahab. There is no problem. So sahab means friends. Not really just friends, but those beloved ones again. The word she here means some. It does not mean a thing. So we can use it as some. She says doors. What doors? Oh, doors. Some are strangers. She gharib. Some are friends. She's hob. This is the literal meaning. It means as a context that those doors have witnessed a lot, witnessed our meetings with the strangers or, or our loved ones, or those who were close to our hearts, close to us, but then became strangers to us. The next sentence says, She msakkar unatir. The word msakkar means closed. You know the word or the verb sakkar, bisakkar means to close, but msakkar it means closed. Natar is the participle, participle of the word natar, so natar is waiting. Ta, again, the word ta or the letter ta means to, in order to. Yirja'u, they come back. Who are coming back? We have the subject afterwards, which is, or which are, al-ghiyab. Al-ghiyab is the plural of the word ghayib, and ghayib means absent. So the absent means like the absent people. The absent people are the... People who are not in their houses, not in their homes, not with their families, they are traveling, they are just like immigrating or something like that. It means that some doors are just closed, waiting for their families to come back or to come open them, these doors again, and take care of these houses again. Of course, we are speaking here about doors, that's right, but we are speaking about the memories in those homes, the memories in these houses, not only the material door, not like a word, of course, it's just like a metaphor of all of the feelings and memories inside of each house. And then Fairuz says, Ah, 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 le bois. So this ah, oh, it means like, oh, doors. Ah, oh, this ah oh, that comes from the person in Arabic, in poetry or in songs, it means that someone is feeling the pain. So I, I actually, you, you say it in English as ouch. We say ah or ah. So ah in the poetry in Arabic, it means oh, oh dear. Ah le bweb. And then she says, she continues saying in that song, وَقْتِ اللِّي بلوح لك وبسكر الباب Let's break that down. You can say the word without illi, but we are used to say which means when. For instance. So it says when. Blawah. Lawah is to wave for someone as high or by. Blawah. It's used in Levantine a little bit, but this word comes from standard, which is lawaha. Lawaha yulawihu to wave. 
So Fairuz got that from standard Arabic, but you can say the word equals in Levantine Hawa. Hawa bi hawi, that means also to wait. But here she is using lawah or bilawah. You can use both of them equally, it's fine. So what li blawah lak? When I wave to you. She is speaking about saying goodbye. When I say goodbye to you, what li blawah lak? وبسكر الباب And I close the door When I wave to you Saying goodbye And then close the door She says بياخدني الحنين The word حنين Which is also a girl's name in Arabic It is nostalgia So this is حنين She is saying بياخدني الحنين So الحنين is, here is the subject so the nostalgia actually takes me What she actually means by that is that the nostalgia takes me out of this reality to my own thoughts when I say goodbye to you and to my own imagination. Then she says فكر فكر راح اشتقلك فكر راح اشتقلك Fakir is I think, I think. Rah is for the future and luck is I will miss you, I miss you. So I think, Fakir, I think, I will miss you. Means I know that I will miss you. Not just thinking about it, I know that I will miss you a lot. And all of these emotions come to my mind at that specific moment when I say goodbye to you. Then she says, فكر عهالباب رح انطر سنين فكر عهالباب The ha, ha letter, it's actually هالباب So this door or that door or this whatever. So we can replace the word هادا or هادي or هيدا or هيدي with the letter ha that is just a briefer way of saying this, that, those, these, etc. So, فكر عهالباب on this door رح انطر I will wait سنين for years رح انطر سنين So I start thinking when I say goodbye to you at the door I start thinking at that door, on that door that I will wait for years until I see you again if I ever saw you again. And then she says, Wah ya bab. Again, she is being in pain because of whatever is happening at that door. Ah ya bab al mahfur. Umri fiq. She is speaking to that door. She is saying, Ah ya bab. It, it's just like, let's imagine the door is now in front of me and I'm saying, Ah ya bab. So, O oh door, you don't know how much I am in pain. So, ah ya bab, al mahfur. The word mahfur means engraved. Mahfur, hafar, mahfur. Hafar is to engrave. Mahfur is engraved. Umr is the age, but we use it as life. So, she is saying, O oh door, or what a door, that my life is engraved. In you or on you means that Fayruz is saying, Oh, what a door that has all of my memories inside of it. The next sentence says, Rah untur, Rah untur, Usamik babel azab. Rah untur means I will wait. Rah untur. Samma bisammi is the word to call, to call someone, to give a name for someone. You can say, Sammayt ibni, whatever. So I called my name, I gave a name for my children, for my kids, for whatever, which is Rana, for instance. And then again, we go back to the word Aza, which is torture or pain. So the meaning of this sentence is, I will wait, I'm waiting, but I will call you the door of pain. She says that I will wait. Okay, what can I do? I will wait. But 
I will give you the name of the door of torture, the, the door of pain. Why? I can't do anything. So just like, let me feel the pain and tell you and blame you that you are the reason. Because you always make me feel sad. You are the reason. And then she says, oh, le bois. It's again, what doors? What doors that we have? What doors that witness our tortures, our pains, our whatever? And then she says, Fi bab gheran birihetil yasmin. So let's break it down. Fi bab gheran birihet el yasmin. So gheran is the word from ghire, ghire or ghirq, which means to drown. So ghiran is drowned. Riha is the smell. Riha. Riha. And yasmin is the flower, of course, which is jasmine. So she is saying there is a door. There are doors. There is a door which is drowned with a jasmine smell. She means that some doors are just happy. Their families are taking care of these houses, of these doors. And then she says, في باب مشتاء وفي باب حزين. She is now counting the types of doors. Feyruz is counting the types of doors. So she is saying basically, في باب مشتاء مشتاء is a missing person, the person who misses someone or something. And في باب حزين, حزين is sad, is an adjective. There is a door that misses its family, another door that is just sad, maybe because they lost someone they love, maybe because there is no one around them. And then she says في باب مهجور أهلو من سيين. Mahjur is the word that means abandoned, which is an adjective. It comes from the word hajar bihjur, to abandon something or someone. Hajar bihjur. Don't mix that with the word hajar that has an a ah in the next place, in the second place of the letters. Hajar, which means to immigrate, and bihajar. And you can see that Arabic is so logical because hajar is to abandon something and hajar is to immigrate, which of course you are immigrating, then you are abandoning someone or something. The word ahl means parents or family. Minsi, the word nisi means to forget. Nisi bimsa, to forget. Minsi is forgotten. So she is basically saying there is a door that is abandoned, its family is forgotten. She means that some homes are just abandoned, whether the whole family is not there or children left their parents in those homes, in those houses, and then just left, went away with no one to take care of these parents and other people around the, these homes or these houses just forgot about these parents or these families. The next sentence is Hal Arad. Hal Arad Killa Biut. Hal Arad, the word or the letter Ha again means this. Hal Arad, the word Arad means either earth, land, or ground, or maybe a floor. So Hal Arad means this. This whole land, this whole earth, hal ard killa, all of it, killa, biut, biut is houses, of course. So she is saying this earth is full of houses. Then she says, ya rab, ya rab, she's actually praying, ya rab, khaliha mzayyane bubwab. Ya rab, she is actually praying, she's saying, oh God, ya rab, ya rab. Khaliha, leave it, let it. Mzayane, mzayan or mzayane is de decorated. When you say decorated, it does not mean literally in poetry that is decorated like a decoration. Of course not. It means that whenever you have something that makes 
a joy to your life it's actually a decoration to your life so يا رب خليها مزينة decorated with doors ببواب she is saying oh gosh praying for God please please bless these homes with doors she means that she hopes everyone feels happy in their homes, in their houses. She hopes that no one leaves their family because they have to. She, she wants, maybe she hopes for a better future, for whatever that is good, but always, always visit the beloved ones, always see them, always be there for them. And then she says, She's continuing her prayers. ولا يحزن ولا بيت ولا يتسكر باب She's again praying لا يحزن ولا بيت ولا يتسكر باب She's also praying حزن is to feel sad بيت again is house تسكر is to be closed to be closed not to close to be closed and باب again is the door she wishes that no door will be sad and no door will be closed again. She is praying for people to always be happy, to always be with each other, to always be close to each other and never close a house, close a door and leave their memories inside and leave all of these memories that you miss, that you will miss, that you always will miss, that you always wish that you will never leave again. So this was the first song of Fayrouz. I hope you like it. I really like this song because I feel like this song is about the Lebanese and Syrian people because they left their houses. They did not want to. Um, we did not want to. We did not want to leave and, and leave all of these memories, all of the things that we love. We did not want to um, maybe sell our houses and go. We did not want to never see our families again. We wanted to come back. We want to, to see our families. We want to be close to them. We are in love with them, but sometimes it's just like life and life, ha life happens. Some things happen. Some people feel that it's too much and so on. So this song is really good. I really like it. It's so close to my heart. The rhythm of it is perfect. Fayrouz songs, all of them are just perfect. But I wanted to start with this song, especially because I love it. And I feel that all of the metaphors in it is, are so, so close to the heart and so emotional. So this is why I like it. And I want to know if you like it too. If you like it, do not forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends who are learning Arabic or they love Fayrouz or they are just musicians or they love music or whatever. Of course, I will add the link of this song in the description below so you can see it. And I wish you like this video. If you like this series and if you like me to continue with this series because I really want to, <laughs> I really like it. If you like it too, just like comment, 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 comment. If I saw lots of comments, then I will just like feel that you love it. If you love it, I will just continue to do it. I will continue to make these videos and I will continue to make the love of Fayrouz all around the world. Love you so much, guys. And don't forget to share, comment, like, whatever, whatever you want. Comment, like, do something. <laughs> and I will see you in next videos. Take care. Love you so much. Hab kolektiv. Bye bye.